Hey guys, I'm Pietro Fittipaldi, reserve and test driver for the MoneyGram Haas Formula One team. Thank you for sending in your questions and I'm gonna answer some now. Question number one, what's the hardest track you've ever raced? The hardest track I've ever raced on is the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. You're doing about average 230 miles an hour. Uh, so I don't even know how many kilometers an hour that is. And uh, you're skimming the walls, you're racing with, you know, another 33 cars on track and everybody's fighting to, you know, get that Indy 500 win. It's a, it's a massive race. It's a high pressure, high speeds, and the adrenaline is, uh, is insane. Question number two, what is the feeling of being a reserve driver and what task do you do as a reserve driver? First off, to be part of a Formula One team is, is an amazing feeling. If you think about it, there's only 20 F1 drivers on the grid and I'd say maybe eight or nine uh, reserve drivers. So the pool of drivers is, uh, is very small. I mean, if you consider it um, to any other sport, um, you know, that's why I, I'm very privileged and feel honored to be part of Haas and for being part of Haas for, for so many years. And the uh, task as a reserve driver, I mean, you gotta be ready at any time because you don't know when you're gonna drive, you don't know what weekend you'll, you'll be driving the car. So if anything happens, you gotta make sure you're on point. And, you know, throughout the race weekend, if I'm not driving the car, um, you know, I'm helping the team, looking at data on boards and uh, trying to, you know, give as much information to the drivers as I can through my driver's uh, point of view. Question number three, and I know who this is from. How many kilos do you put chest wise, free weights? Your chest looks really small to me. <laughs> All right, listen, dumbbell press, we're talking about, I can, you know, press about 30 kilos on each hand. So about 60 kilos uh, in general, dumbbell press and do about 10 to 12 reps. Nico, you're making fun of me because he keeps saying that I have a massive uh, chest and that I, only chain, that I only train chest. And that's not true, all right? I train other stuff. By coincidence, you walked in and I, I was doing my chest day that day. So uh, that's why you think I have a massive chest, but I don't train chest every day. Question number four. Is there a huge difference between driving styles for WEC and Formula One? Yes, there's a massive difference in driving styles. Obviously, Formula One, you have high downforce car, high power, and it's all about being, you know, super late on the brakes, um, having a lot of confidence on the high speed corners. And, you know, qualifying is super important in Formula One, and uh, you have to be very aggressive in F1. In WEC, in endurance racing, it's different. You have to be aggressive when it counts, but sometimes in the longer races, you know, 24 hour races, you have to learn how to be patient and wait for the right moments. You're running with a lot of traffic on track. So sometimes you're out on track and you have 60 cars and not from the same class. So you're racing with GTs, with prototypes. So in a race, you might be passing six, seven cars uh, in a lap. I mean, even more, 10 cars in a lap. So it's a very different type of racing. Qualifying doesn't matter as much, but your race pace and knowing how to manage traffic is much more important in, uh, in endurance racing in WEC than it is in Formula One. Formula One is, it's a sprint race. Endurance racing, it's an endurance race. Question number five, pineapple on pizza, yes or no? Yes, I love pineapple on pizza. You guys can give me crap about it, but it tastes really good. Question number six, what hobbies do you have outside your daily job? Outside my daily job, you know, I like to play video games. I do a lot of Twitch and kick streaming. Um, and I play basketball. I go to the gym and I watch Netflix, you know, pretty normal stuff. Question number seven, which driver did you look up to when you were growing up? So I would say I looked up to, you know, many drivers, but particularly both my uncles, you know, Max Pappas, Christian Fittipaldi. Those were the, you know, family members that I had racing at the time. Uh, so when I, when I was young, I would go watch them race, you know, Daytona 24 hours, Indy 500. And growing up watching them, that gave me the, um, you know, that feeling of wanting to go race as well. Thank you all for your questions. I had a good time reading them on Instagram.